Jeff here again. I don't know if you've ever been to a store like I've just been in. It's pretty interesting. It's called Dig and Save. It's the St. Vincent de Paul's Thrift Store's Outlet Center. Got one located here in Madison, Wisconsin. Awesome place. If you've ever seen the Goodwill bins, it's very similar to that. They sell clothing, $1.25 per pound. Random shit in the back. Oh, random junk in the back. Sorry. For 50 cents per pound. That's usually where I spend most of my time. So it grabs a few things for for resale or in some things for me. I'll t tell you, I paid $4.17 for everything I'm gonna show you here. I received, I found part, I don't know if it's all in there, I didn't take time to check because of the price and how crazy it's in there. Looks like a Mr. Potato Head. These can sell really well. Found a Disney theme park plushie. I might just keep this for my little guy. I think he's gonna like it. Unless I look it up at some crazy price. But most likely, I'm just keeping this guy. Look how cute he is. I also found Crown Royal bag. I have no idea why that people buy these. I don't get it. But like, cost this is probably like two cents, so whatever. Now this one I really like. I am probably gonna keep this guy. I found a little junk art sculpture. This thing is just phenomenal. I love it. I'm keeping that. That's going on my desk. All right, what else do we have here? Recognize this guy? Yeah, he's going on my desk too. I'm keeping him. I also found this little music box here. Now, I'm actually probably going to give this one to my mom. She had this exact same music box when I was a kid. And me being a dumbass kid, I broke it. Sorry, Mom. But I'm going give to give you this one. The exact same one. That's awesome. I also found this dude. Not sure who he is. If he's old, he's worth anything. I'm going to look him up when I get home. At that price, I just grabbed him. I mean, he's so light. That's, again, probably like a five-cent purchase. If he's worth something, I'll sell him. If not, the kid has a new toy. Bonus. All right. Same with this guy here. And then I have a whole just pile. Probably, I'm not gonna pull them all out. Like 20 or 30 Matchbox cars. Most of these ones I found today were from the, from the 80s or mid 90s. So some of those are worth money. If not, again, that price, those are for the kid. But I did find a couple other things that are absolutely phenomenal. I found this. Don't get too excited. It's not the one you're thinking of. But it is a Texas instrument. TI-83. For the price I paid, this is gonna be a good profit. However, I found something else. I found this guy. <laughs> he is the one you're thinking of. TI-84. Silver Edition. That bank. That's bank right there. Funniest thing is, I got here so late in the afternoon, I got here about one o'clock in the afternoon. These are still in the bins in the back. How no one's picked these up? I have no freaking idea. These sell really, really well on eBay. Buy these. What else did I find? Oh, like mostly mostly more of those cars left. I'm not going to go through those. You've seen them. I did find this little tripod. Not a clue if it's worth money, but at that price, why not? I'll look up when I get home. So I'm kind of a cheap bastard. I do not have ser service on my smartphone. I know. I have a flip phone. I got through Ting. cost me like 12 bucks a month text and calls. I don't like talking. I don't like texting. Oh well. It saves me money at this price. I guess I paid less. I paid just over four bucks for everything here and then a whole pile of Matchbox cars. I mean, I got probably about 20 or 30 of them in there. You can't go wrong. You guys ever been anywhere like this? Let me know down below. Alright, have a great day.